Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. All right, I'm just going to come out guns blazing here. The Revenant will own your ass. An art house movie for people who don't like art house movies. This incredible film is what can result when the most talented craftsmen in the business, from the actors to the director to the cinematographer, composer, art director, special effects, technicians, everyone, when a group of the most talented people working in cinema today get together and push themselves and each other to the limits of their considerable abilities and beyond. The Revenant is a remarkable, nay, impossible cinematic achievement with a harrowing, bone-rattling, visceral power. It's one of the best, and dare I say, one of the just freaking manliest movies of the year. It's massively entertaining, profoundly inspiring, and thrillingly intense from beginning to end. And at nearly three hours long, that's quite a feat indeed. See The Revenant on the biggest screen that you can, and I dare you to try and look away. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. I'm on fire, man! Much has been made of the difficulties in the production of The Revenant. The cinematographer's insistence on only using natural light, production delays, remote locations, ballooning budget, numerous crew members just up and quitting the film due to the rigorous workload and harsh weather conditions. Hell, when the weather wasn't harsh enough, they moved the entire production to a different country rather than use fake snow. It sounds like madness, but looking at the finished product, it's clearly something that is so often confused for madness, and that's brilliance. The settings, the photography, the actors' performances, everything is influenced by these demanding choices made by director Alejandro Inaritu and his production team. Everyone suffered on this movie, and their suffering has created a masterpiece. The Revenant tells the remarkable true story of hunter and trapper Hugh Glass, who as a member of a pelt hunting party in Montana and South Dakota in 1823, was attacked by natives, then mauled by a bear, then betrayed in the ultimate way by one of the members of his own group, buried alive and left for dead. And from that frozen soil, a completely destroyed Glass, played with riveting commitment by Leonardo DiCaprio, emerges and embarks on an odyssey of survival and revenge that makes the Count of Monte Cristo look like the Count of Sesame Street. He must endure the freezing temperatures, local natives, wild animals, and starvation to journey more than 200 miles in pursuit of his vengeance, often resembling more a bag of broken flesh or a feral animal than a human being I mean, the transformation that he undergoes from father to action hero to a dead man buried in... I mean, he's got so much dirt in his beard at one point that he looks like he's literally been planted in the soil like a tree. Then he's a desperate, bloody cripple, all the way to being a confident survivor covered in the furs of the animals he has killed along the way. Man! Leonardo DiCaprio brings glass to life in a way that completely erases Leo the movie star and makes it impossible to imagine the role being played by anyone else. For a guy who has had several good looks at an Oscar, this may be the film that finally earns him the gold. Also, as Fitzgerald, Tom Hardy has created another of his indelible villain characters. Selfish, greedy, and ultimately weak and craven, you will hate this guy, even as you understand completely where he's coming from, and you can predict pretty easily what the coward will do next. His motives are all over his face, but he manages to swindle and or intimidate his comrades into doing things against their better judgment, giving you a real sense of how good men can be overtaken by evil. Now I've got to shift gears here for a second and say that while the film is chock full of brilliantly realized shots of natural settings, The Revenant's biggest surprise, so surprising that you won't even think about it until long after you've left the theater, is its achievement in special effects. These are the very best kind of special effects in that they are invisible. You're not looking for them and thus you just take them for granted and get wrapped up in the story. There are countless shots in this film that simply aren't physically possible. No matter how nimble the cameraman or how well choreographed the actors, anyone who saw his last film, Birdman, knows that Inaritu likes his long tracking shots. But whether it's during a trip down freezing rapids or a long tracking shot through a massive Native American sneak attack 
or the bear attack you've probably already read about that will pull your scrotum back up into your throat. This camera goes places here that it would not, should not, cannot go. And the illusion is sold so completely that it's only afterward that you think to yourself, hey, there's, there's no way they got a camera to follow a horse off a cliff, right? Because in the moment, you just accepted the movement. You were immersed in the battle. Even things that you would think would betray the realism, like a character's breath fogging up the camera lens, they actually sell the realism because that character is actually only computer generated. It must be. And you actually thought it was there, breathing heavily enough to fog the lens. Brilliant. Just, just brilliant. You know how they say an athlete who gives it all leaves it all out there on the court? Well, these filmmakers left it all out there on the snow. There are two major films released on Christmas Day that featured bloodied men in the snow. This one and The Hateful Eight. They were both great films, but this is the one that made me wish I'd worn a jacket. The Revenant is a miracle of a film. Technically, artistically perfect. This is the kind of film that sets Oscar records, like Titanic or Lord of the Rings, because it tells a great story using every cinematic tool, like great acting, great camera movement, great art direction, costume design, score, all of it incredibly well done. And the movie as a whole is even greater than the sum of these excellent parts. So movies like this usually win Best Picture as well. Extra large bag of popcorn for The Revenant. This movie takes you on an intense and profound journey and contains imagery that will linger in your mind long after you've left the theater. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget, you can follow me, The Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And if you liked what you saw, be sure to click the thumbs up icon and please do subscribe to this channel. Click the icon right down there and subscribe. It helps us to bring you more great content and allows you to keep up with all of our reviews as they happen. So please, subscribe so that you will never miss a review. In the meantime, I'm the Colonel. Thank you for watching Movies That Pop all throughout 2015, and Happy New Year!